The toilet is the only place in your home when you can literally look inside of your distribution system, right? Uh, short of gutting your bathroom and cutting the pipes apart and doing this. It's the, for us as, as a company and for us as salespeople going into the home, it's a perfect example to look in and see what's in your water visually. Um, one of the things is definitely iron. Iron's attributes are uh, red staining, light orange staining, depending on its severity. Um, iron can build up on the inside of that tank. There's also different types of iron. So if there's a bacterial quality to the water, you may notice that you actually have a slime built up over top of the Which is site. worse. Yes. Which is a whole other ball game over iron. It, it's definitely a different method of treatment. Um, it's a little more involved and may require, and may require something other than salt, like a softener. It may require some chemicals to be involved to help treat that water. So a simple trick for everyone is just to pull the lid off the pull tank the of your toilet. Take a look. If it doesn't look clean, you probably have a water problem and should have it checked. Correct. Especially if you have kids. I mean, we worry about our kids. We don't seem to worry about ourselves, but. Well, any, any um, filtration equipment or anything that you had in your home prior to us coming in wasn't even your water for your particular washer, Mike, wasn't even going through that. So anything that was in that well um, that may or could have been in that well Even was right. You were directly consuming when you brushed your teeth every day, when you showered every day, and a lot of people open their mouth in the shower. So yeah, I, I was mean, gargling with my shower. It, you, you know, you're you're fortunate in a way that you know you didn't have a terrible source um, from a bacterial perspective or from a you know something of a pathogen, but uh, you know it could have definitely you know been a lot worse. Um, a coli. Yeah. Uh, uh, parasites. Uh, what else? I coliform mean, is another form of bacteria. Who? Sorry? Coliform. Coliform? Yep. Coliform is one of the tests that is included in a bacterial sample. So they test for coliform and E. coli. Um, coliform being an indicator bacteria can indicate that um, there could be an improper seal in the well, an improper cap, um, a leak and in infiltration somewhere, or contamination within the aquifer itself. But it's an indication you should look further into your, into your water source.